Last time I showed you how to assemble and start using Zonastar MAR2. That's quite good and actually the cheapest dual color 3D printer that you can buy right now. I already made one dual color 3D print in my last video. It was just a cut provided by a producer on SD card, nothing too fancy. You can check out this video right here. After this video I was trying to get this printer working with Cura Slicer. But I found that it is a little bit tricky and it is much simpler to use Repeater Host to create dual color prints on this printer. How to slice models for dual color printing and how to print them that's what we will do in this video. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is to load two filaments to the extruders. Make sure to use filaments that have similar melting temperature. You shouldn't mix PLA with ABS for example but PLA with PLA is fine. There is no way to load filament to the second extruder, so we have to do it by hand. So we have both filaments loaded, and just a quick tip, if you would like to use this printer to print only single color, you still have to have both filaments loaded, because otherwise the filament will try to get out using this other tube. Calibration of this printer is exactly the same as any other printer, just use a piece of paper to level the bed. Now it's time to open slicer. I will show you how to make it both in Cura and Repeater Host. Both of the softwares are easy to use. Cura is much more popular and looks better, but Repetier has more settings and is easier to use, and that's why I found it produce better results. It is also a little bit tricky to use G-Code from Cura because we have to modify it firstly. Let's open Cura. The first thing we have to do is to turn on dual extrusion settings. You can do that in preferences. Just search for dual extrusion settings, here it is, and turn on everything. Then we have to set up everything, here are the settings that we have to change. The first thing is prime tower size, set it to 22mm and prime tower minimum volume to 100. You should also change retraction distance and nozzle switch retraction distance both to 12mm. So now let's import some models and as you can see we have two separate pieces here. Click on the first one and right here on the left change its material. Then select both of them using shift key and click on merge models. As you can see they are joined together. So right now this is a single model with two colors. If you will switch to layer view, you will see that colors are different and we also have a prime tower behind our model. That's required to wipe the nozzle on each layer change. Now we can simply export the G-code, but don't print it yet, because we have to change something. We have to delete some of the comments from this G-code to print it. There is no setting for dual extrusion with single nozzle in Cura, so it wants to cool down nozzle on each filament change. That's what we have to delete. Those are M104 and M109 comments. But not only comments, we have to delete the whole content of each line that consists those comments. I found an online tool for that, so it is not so hard to do, but you have to do this. That's the website that I use to delete lines from the G-code. So click on load file, find the G-code, then it will load the G-code, and now we can simply type N109, click on OR, and put right there M104. Then click on remove lines containing. And now all of those comments are removed. So we can save our new G-code, but don't forget to change its name. And of course, G-code 
at the end. And then our G-code is ready to print it on the printer. I'm not really happy with this print, especially because of the amount of filament that I waste to print it. That's the vase and that's the filament that I waste to just print it. So this thing weighs 15 grams and this one over 4 times more than the actual print. But I have an idea to reduce the filament waste this time and this time I will use repeater host to print things. I hope they will come out better than the Cura. As you can see, Cura is not the best choice for dual color printing, but Repetier Host is. You can find a link to download it in the description. It's quite easy to use and has a lot of options, so it is perfect for dual color printing. Let's click on Slicer tab and then go to Configuration. Right there in Extrusion tab, you have to change Wipe and Prime volume to 80 and retraction on extruder switch to 60 mm and also check create wipe and prime tower so now again let's import our models to repeater host and right here it's a little bit different because you don't use merge command you just simply have to move the main object to the second group and then change the extruder that you use to print each part of the model when you are ready, you can go to Slicer tab and click Slice with Cura Engine. And as you can see, our model and G-Code are almost ready. Again, we have Prime Tower to wipe nozzle on each layer change. But this time we don't have to modify the G-Code, we don't have to delete anything. It's ready out of the Slicer. how good those prints are. I'm really happy with that, but they are not perfect yet. There are some things that I can improve to make them look better, but as for now, they are much better than the previous print, so that's great. And here is how much filament I waste to print all of those objects. This one failed because it unsticked from the bed. And compare this to this, there is a huge difference. Why I waste only this amount of filament to print all of these objects? Nozzle have to be wiped on each layer, so it doesn't matter how much you will print on each layer, because I have more objects right here, and all of them at the same level will print with one color and then with another one. It's only about the height of the object, not the X and Y dimensions. But I decided not to stop there and I tried to connect PLA with TPU with flexible filament to check if it will be possible to print like that and it is. I mean it's not perfect because probably of the temperature it was a little bit too low and adhesion between layers is not perfect as you can see there are some holes between the PLA and TPU filament and of course you can say that you can print this thing on any other printer because you can simply change the filament during the print to get this result and that leads to another advantage of this printer you can have two filaments installed but print with only single color and when you want to print with another color you don't have to change the filament because it is already installed also if you want to print objects that are separated horizontally like this one you don't have to use prime tower for that and you can use two filaments and that's really cool. There is one function of this printer that I didn't test out yet, but I will definitely do it in the future. That is an option to create virtual extruders to mix two colors together to create another color. And thanks to that you can create some cool looking gradients. And I will make a video about it, so don't forget to subscribe to don't miss it.
So far I'm really happy with this printer, the possibility to print with two colors and even with two materials is amazing and that's completely another level of 3D printing. Also its price is very good, if you would like to buy one you can find a link to it in the description. I hope you enjoyed those dual color prints, if you have any questions or you just want to say hi don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching, bye everyone, happy making!